I'm back finally. I think I owe I think I owe you guys an ending. I think I owe you guys an ending. I had no idea what I was getting into last time. A marathon, essentially? And a marathon, I'm telling you the same story over and over again. I always forget that. I always forget that. You're gonna pop up and I need you to move. But that's okay. So, do we will actually finally conclude 999 today? Um, uh, won't be as, well, it certainly won't be, um, six hours this time, uh, but it definitely won't be as long as the other stuff. So we're gonna wrap this up today. I'm gonna get done with school, because that is a pain in the tuchus, and then on Friday, we'll start Virtue's Last Reward which I'm very, very excited about, and then we'll focus on that for quite a while. Quite a while, I believe. Not to mention I'm falling behind on my Final Fantasy and it's not enjoyable. You have to do some major catch-up with Raisin here later on. And go fight the Moogles, which makes me sad. Why do we want to beat up the cute, fuzzy Moogles? I mean, they are cute and fuzzy. These ones are kind of assholes, though, from what I've watched. Because I haven't actually got to try it yet. Because I've been doing papers all day. No math. Ah. Uh, yo! Hello! We're good, sir. We're good. We got this. What's going on? My paper's going on. I finished that. And then I told you I got my I got my email. Yeah, I have to know all of this. All of this. There we go. So and then uh oh this. I'm gonna be called a clown. Feeling it. Flying around. Lord have mercy. Lord help oh, me. Finally, I know, up? Manny. What's up, little bear? <laughs> I. He need help. Help. <laughs> I know. I I owe some. I owe you guys an ending. I think. Wait, what? I'm not in there. I didn't see. I. Thought, what? 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 Oh. No. Yeah, sure, we can let the video play. Why? I don't know. Why do I know? I don't know, you're confusing. That raisin, buddy, you okay? <laughs> People are concerned about you. Oh, you're clown. I am. Not allowed to do that in, like, hockey. <laughs> <laughs> they always have such good music! I had Dang and Rompo stuck in my head for, like, a week. I thought we were doing VLR. No game sound? That doesn't sound good. You have no game sound? Why? That's, hold on, why are y'all not hearing it? That's not cool. No, they're, they're talking about me. They can't hear this. Yeah, but you were dancing. To music that they can't hear, which uh, they should be able to hear. I don't know, that's not my problem. Are you muted? Why would I be muted? I haven't done anything with it. Okay. I'm not muted. They can't hear the game. Do you hear the game? Yes. That's why I was dancing! 
Oh, I don't know, man. I don't know. You're asking me to pick something else over Toko. I don't know, man. First, I gotta figure out how to do this. Why? Uh, why? Why? Uh, is that supposed to, is that always muted over there? I mean, yeah. Close the video in the window. This? No, yeah, over there. Close the oh. one. There's no need to run there. Well, it's, it's muted, but yeah. Toko is totally life, Manny. You gotta come play Ultimate Spare Girls with us. I'm really, like, I wanted to play this game for a really long time. Okay, see like that. Could y'all not hear that? The little bleeps. Yes, I heard it. How do y'all not hear it? Yeah, I heard that. Okay, yeah, I fixed it. Never mind. I don't know why or how, but such as such as I heard that. I is smart. I are getting my education. My, I, I are smarter. This is what happens that. when I study too much and then I get on stream. I don't even study. I'm still smart. You don't have to. And that's not always true. You work on like your programming and stuff. I want to start working with Photoshop over the summer. I might start playing with that this summer too. <clears throat> Projects. I really weasel. I are really weasel. I weasel. I loved I are weasel or I am weasel. Gotta get them weasel. Yeah, candies. it was I am weasel and I are baboon. That was it. New weasel candies like Nick. And we are weasel candies. See, somebody else finally likes Toko with me too. Everybody thinks I'm crazy for liking Toko. Just, just saying. Everybody says I was crazy. And it well, and really, because it might be kind of dependent on how quickly we play through VLR. Because I mean, don't get me wrong, we get through it really quick, and we still have like three weeks before Ultra Despair Girls comes out or whatever. Because this is the end. No. Yes. What day does that come out again? Hold on. Where did okay? Why does it just say available Q2 to 2017? I understand quarter two, but uh, <clears throat> June 27th. That game does talk too much. June 27th. Yeah, so it's not until the very end of June anyway. So, if we get done with VLR, we still have, like, three weeks before it comes out, then we'll probably just go on and play the other game. Fair enough. <laughs> and then we wait for September. Oh, we wait for September. September, once again, I don't remember the specific date, but we wait for September. Fair enough was retrieving food. Yay, food retrieval! I'm gonna make nachos and guacamole later, I'm pretty excited, but that all being said, we still have a little bit to play in this, so let's, let's finally conclude okay so we were at um Kane's interpretation or her view of the story going on so everything's going on is happening through her eyes so for anybody this is the official for anybody watching this presently or in the future and you have not played 999 the nonary games stop watching nothing but spoilers from here on out nothing anywho Hey, true. I ended up going a long, yeah, 
<laughs> we had to cut it off. I was running a marathon. I, I, I hadn't intended on running a marathon that day. 26. See, it's always at the end. My brother, my brother Ali swallowed hard and answered. This room is gonna burn. But yeah, they're just learning that they're in an incinerator. The door says incinerator. And that voice said that the incineration is about to start. And incinerate means to burn. No! Help me! Abject terror filled the room as everyone began to scream and cry. Every pair of eyes were filled with despair. Then, Spy Chumsoft has this thing with despair. Just saying, might not be healthy. High up on a wall, a door opened and a man appeared. He was a huge, frightening mountain of a man as large as a bear. Nine years later, we would call him Seven. Don't worry, kids. I'm uh, not your enemy. I'm one of the good guys. I'm a detective. I'm here to rescue you. The only thing I have about this is it likes to repeat the same story over and over again. The rest, exactly. The rest happened just like Seven said. The four of us who had stayed behind were saved by Seven. We crawled through the vent away from the incinerator and slid down into the hall. No, we didn't restart it. We didn't get to the end of it. We oh, have we anywhere... Have we had Predator's Game. Woo! Yeah. Woo! It's all good. You won yesterday. I had had... Yes, my Predators won yesterday. I had had a prior engagement, and I had started that stream way earlier, thinking I would be done closer to a certain time. That was not at all what happened. I was running, like, an hour and a half, two hours over. So, we're finishing up so today. Have you decided... Have you decided if you're doing VLR or what is? That's Friday. That's Friday, yeah. And then, well, it co- Because then we have to play Zero Time Dilemma. But, like I said, I don't get Ultra Despair Girls until the end of June, so it just depends on how quickly that game goes as to which one will be first. Gotcha. We definitely have an order. I actually have, like, a library catalog of games that we're going through here. Should have made you keep it all. I know. <laughs> That was the game that the rest fucking could suck my dick. I had to turn it off for luck charm, right? Although we start, we should start doing some raisin reaction streams for you guys. So watching anything with him is pretty entertaining and violent, but it's okay. Nobody gets hurt. Go out third March extreme. All right, we came out on the other side of door nine. On the wall opposite the door was a set of double doors. We went through those and began to run up the spiral staircase. As we ran, I led the way. Behind me were Nona, my brother Owie, Snake, and Seven. The other children, the ones who had gone through door nine before us, were up ahead. I could hear them cheering each other on. We ran and ran and ran, and we left across as many stairs as we could and kept running. The stairs spiraled upward like a tornado. Eventually, I pulled ahead of the rest. Perhaps Nona had slowed them down. <laughs> I didn't want to lose them, so I slowed down as well. I didn't stop, but I glanced over my shoulder from time to time to see if they'd caught up. That's when I realized... Oh, where is it? Did I drop Jumpy's present? What? I knew I'd had it with me when we passed through the vent. Then had I dropped it as we slid out? I had to go back. I had to! But I knew I couldn't tell the others. They would just stop me, I was sure of that. I didn't stop to think, I simply moved. I ran to the central hall, the room that connected to all the other areas of the ship. I hid in the shadows, and moments later I felt a rush of wind as they ran past me up the staircase. Oh, okay, so that's why she got stuck behind. I waited until they were out of sight, and then I ran. I moved as quietly as I could down and down and down. Finally, I reached the bottom deck. It's all your fault, Jumpy. She died because she all had to have a crush on you. I ran into the hallway and looked around there frantically. It, it was just where I thought it would be, sitting under the opening of the vent. I ran over and snatched it from the floor, but as I ran back towards the stairs and freedom... Oh, shit happened. The door to the incinerator opened, and a man stepped out. It was Hongo. Nine years later, we would call oh, him Ace. How wonderful to see you decided to come back. Told you I never liked Ace. Ace, his smile made my blood run cold. It looked mechanical as if someone had simply pulled up the corners come of his mouth. Me. We must continue the experiment. No, thank you. I shook my head, eyes wide. Slowly, I began to walk backwards. 
one step, two step, three step bluefish. Then I spun around and broke into a run. I felt Hongo's hand close over my left wrist. I said, come with me. Lesbian seagull. Sorry. There was an edge of insanity to his voice now. I pulled as hard as no, I could. Stop! Let go of me! Let I shook my body and flailed my arm, trying desperately to get Hongo to let go of me. But I was still only a child. I was no match for a man like Stop Hongo. Struggling, God damn it. I don't think any Do kids really can. match for any man. Uh, uh, he heaved my arm, trying to pull me into the incinerator. Help me! Somebody yeah. Help yeah, I kept me. screaming. Yeah, <laughs> truth. Then suddenly, the door to the stairs flew open, and my brother Owie burst out of it. Behind him came Seven and Snake. Stranger danger! My my friend sent me this great picture that was like, um, yeah, the new vans to watch out for, and it said rare Pokemon inside, so my friend sent it to me. He cried my name again as he leapt towards Hongo. You came back! But then... You're too late, idiot! Hongo threw his full weight against my arm, pulling us both into the incinerator. Ah! The force of it threw me to the floor. I scrambled to my feet and looked towards the open number 9 door. Hongo stood between it and me, but behind him I could see my brother, his fists clenched. But those fists never reached Hongo. Dun dun dun! Oh shit! <laughs> With the cold, heartless screech of metal on metal, the door slammed shut. Hongo glanced at me, Manai- yeah. Mechanically? Yeah. His face registered that there was an object there, but not anything that would consider a human being. Then he turned away and walked to the red that sat next to the door. Where are you lost at? This is telling... We figured out what happened, basically. We're playing as a girl now. We're playing as a Kane. The girl that Jumpy has a crush on in the past, when she's a kid. We are living through the original Nonary games and figuring out why we are here. He reached into his pocket and removed two bracelets. He waved them both over the scanner panel. Two asterisks appeared next to the red. He checked the screen, then tossed the bracelets carelessly onto the floor. What was he doing? What was the point? He made no effort to explain himself, of course. He said nothing at all and walked past me as though I were nothing more than a rock by the roadside. A few moments later, the door slammed shut. The two other doors slid shut as well. No, we have not quite escaped, but we're figuring out why we're here. Faintly, I could hear someone pounding on the door behind me. I turned around and ran towards the door with the nine. Akane! Akane! Are you okay? I could hear a voice from the other side of the door. A worried, Help frightened me! voice. My throat was already raw, but I screamed as loud as I could. My voice echoed lonely around the empty room. What should I do? I, I think I'm trapped in here. Where's Hongo? He went out the other door! W what? Then it started again. Oh, oh. Emergency incineration command has been acknowledged. Incineration will begin in 18 minutes. Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Right. So he's trying to burn her to a crisp. <laughs> Holy shit! And I knew that I was gonna say, but this is one hell of a creepy voice. I knew it. Uh, it's starting. Oh. Oh, we're back. Santa started the incinerator. Fuck! Man, I never thought I'd hear that damn voice again after nine years. Okay, so now now we're back in real time. That was a really, what really fast hell? transfer there. What the hell? What in God's name are you talking about? It's nine years this and nine years that, <laughs> yeah. and when it's not nine years something, then you're talking about some sort of fucking experiments. You aren't making any sense. And everybody has now lost their shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lotus, but we really don't have time to explain it right now. I promise, I'll tell you everything once we get out of here. I just found out the Blues beat the Wild in the playoffs. Go Predators! Yes! Thank you, Manny! Oh, I am like, don't even get me started right now. The Predators have me so insanely, and I'm allowed to say this, I have been a Preds fan since I was 14 years old. We are diehard Preds fans before they were any good. So this is like... Ah, so thank you. <laughs> 
They are National Hockey League teams, truth. The St. Louis Blues, the Minnesota Wild, and then my Nashville Predators. But ah. Incineration will begin in 17 minutes. You know what that means, right? Incinerate means burn! Yes, I'm very aware of what incinerate means. I am. I know yeah. what incinerate means. Well, god damn it. Okay, okay, fine. I won't ask anything else. Talk about whatever you want. But you have to do something for me. Seven, figure this out. <laughs> but you have to not let me burn to the crispy toast. Why me? Just shut up and stop this thing. How the hell? There has to be some sort of emergency shut off button. There isn't anything like that. How the hell do you know? Because he's been in there because before. Because I looked for it nine years ago. Yeah. Yeah, Lotus isn't happy about that. Can't really blame her. Wait, the floor, it's, why is the, well, the floor is moving? Okay. What else can I say about it? What is that? Yeah, exactly. I mean, perfect. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> what is that? What? what else could I say? The floor opened and a machine rose up out of it. It looked like a computer, at least it kind of did. There was a monitor, a keyboard, and a cross-shaped device of some kind. Something about the machine scared me, but I forced myself to walk up to it. I was terrified. Tears poured down my face, I wiped them off, even as more took their place, and forced myself forward. Finally, I reached it. I looked at the screen. It was blank. And we're Kane again. They're not very good with these, like... Just make sure you're looking at the top. This will tell you where we're at right here. All right. All I saw was my own frightened face staring back at me from the glass, drenched in tears. Flash forward. All I can see on the screen is a reflection of my own face. I'm looking kind of freaked out. I know I'm sweating like crazy, but seeing it oh kind of drives me home. Did you do if if it hard mode? Yes, you did. Okay, Junpei, just calm down, all right? Everything's gonna be okay. Man, I wish things would just shut up. Incineration will begin in fifteen minutes. All right, back to this thing. If it's only showing up now, then it's gotta be important. But what the hell am I supposed to do with it? Hey, uh, move! Yeah, let the computer genius move and do it. Yeah. Hey, we're all tense, lady. That doesn't mean you gotta get shoving the people around. There's nothing on the screen, though. This, this, is, bad. this is really bad. If there's nothing on here, how are we supposed to do anything with it? I don't know. Sure, I'll just push buttons. I'm sure that'll. Huh. Uh, well, hey, at least now it's on. What's on the screen, what though? On the DS, it had a Kane on top and us on bottom. Mm. Well, that's what she said. What's up? It looks like some sort of puzzle. Okay. It's got a bunch of numbers and letters scattered across a 5x5 five five grid. The numbers range from 1 to 8. Do you think that if we solve this puzzle, the incinerator will stop? Yeah. Well, we can hope, right? Best shot! Ah, uh, alright. Puzzles. How do they work? Man, that goddamn voice again. Incineration will begin in 13 minutes. Yay. Shit. 13 minutes. Can we really do this? My heart feels like it's gonna pop. My heart was pounding like it was about to explode. I stared at the puzzle on the screen. I was sure I had to solve it somehow, but I had no idea how. My connection to Jumpy had been gone for a while. His mind was gone. I couldn't get any information from him. I felt the second tick by as I started stared at the screen, completely lost. My cheeks felt hot with tears poured over them. Then I heard a voice. Hey. What are you doing? It was muffled. I turned around. Pressed against the window at the entry door was a face. A frightening, evil face. Yeah, you are terrifying. Let's just not. It was Hongo. How long had he been watching oh, me? Don't know what to do. He was yelling, but his voice was still muffled. It's simple, really. But I suppose I might as well tell you. Just solve the puzzle. On that oh, yeah, thank you. We knew that much. <laughs> His laughter was muffled by the door, but it still tore at my heart like the claws of a vicious monster. I bit my lip and glared at Hongo, struggling to hold back my hot You're tears. You're a terrible person! I hate you! Oh, my. 
How could you call a gentleman such yeah. as myself a terrible person? And that's not very nice. Who the fuck is Thongu? Hongo is Ace. In the past. It's his real name. I'm quite fair. I don't use tricks or play dirty. You see? I've even left you a way out. A way out? Didn't you hear me? All you have to do is solve that puzzle. Do that. And you can stop the incinerator. So maybe she has been alive the What's whole time. The point of stopping it? You'll only catch is she alive or is she dead? Do this all again. I'm not going to listen to you. If you're just going to throw me back in here, I might as well just die now. My friend, okay, how did you listen to anything okay. I've said? Okay. I told you, I'm, I'm a fair okay. man. Huh? If you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will in turn activate. If this experiment is to deliver valid results, there must be a chance of success. If you succeed, you will escape. The verification function right. of the red? Because there has to be the element of death in there. Then I remembered. Before Hongo left the room, he had scanned two bracelets into the red. Ah, so you do remember. Right now there are two numbers in the red. The first is one, and the second is three. Say, Akane, what's your number? I look down at my left hand. The face on my brother's show of five. One plus three plus five equals nine. I ran to the door with the nine on it. I grabbed the red and put my hand against the scanner panel. You really aren't one for listening, are you? I hear Hongo's muffled voice from across the room. I've already told you, didn't I? Once you solve the puzzle, the verification function of the red will activate. In other words, if you haven't solved the puzzle, you can't enter your number. What? Why? Why are you doing this? God. <laughs> you could never understand. You don't know what it's like to spend every day surrounded by monkeys. I like monkeys. Uh. Now start the experiment. Solve the puzzle. I can't. I don't know how. Of course you don't. Isn't that the point? <laughs> you understand, don't of you? Of course you don't. Go the genetic field and find a solution. Then you'll die. You'll burn alive. <laughs> it's gonna be quite hot in there in a few minutes. I imagine it will be very God. painful. <laughs> it's so bad. Can we stop staring at the eyeball? His horrible laughter echoed across the room, and even after his face disappeared from the window, I could hear it. Incineration will begin in ten minutes. And we are wasting time. I was crying, great gulping sobs broken by hiccups that shook my body. I was terrified. I could feel my fear pressing down on me like a tremendous weight. Somehow I forced my shaking legs to carry me back to the device. It's getting hot in here. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. I can't. I just can't. There's no, there's no way. I can't figure this out. What was I going to do? I didn't know. I didn't know. I didn't even know where to start. Fear scattered through my thoughts, and all I could think of was how I was going to die. My palms were sweating. My blood was boiling in my veins. It was hot. So hot I couldn't breathe. I felt dizzy. My head roared in my chest as if it would pound itself into pieces. I reached into my pocket, I wrapped my hand around the thing I'd come back to get. The doll Jumpy had given me. At least I had that. I held it tight with both hands and prayed. Help me, Jumpy! Help me! Jumpy is your god? Help me! Help me! Jumpy! 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 Please! Help me! Jumpy! Is it gonna work? Akane? Akane? Who the hell is Akane? Shut up! Just shut the hell up! <laughs> shut up! Seven and Lotus don't understand. I think Clover and Snake have an idea, though. Clover's looking at me. And I think Snake's may Snake may have figured it out. No, it doesn't matter. They're in my way. Where'd she go? Maybe over here? Akane! Akane! Can you Snake hear me? Can hear her. Akane! Fuck! Did something break our connection? I swear I just heard her. Akane! Shit! Answer me! Akane! Jumpy? 
I spun around. I heard a voice, his voice. I looked around. He wasn't in the room, of course, but uh, he'd heard it so clearly, like he was right there. I screamed as loud as I could. Akane! Jumpy! I was gonna... That's her. She's there! Then that means... Akane! Akane! Are you in an incinerator right now? Yes, I am! How? How did you know? I couldn't believe that he knew that! Now I understand what Santa right. meant. There's only one way to help her. You were brought here to help my sister. To save Akane. I think I get it now. Incineration will begin. So she might. This is actually. This is really. This is cool, dude. Seven minutes. Oh, shit. Chubby, we don't have time! As quickly as I could, I told him that I had to solve the puzzle in order to stop the incinerator. Got it. And I do. I get everything now. At least I finally understand what all of this means. I know why the Nonura Games was held today. I know why we were kidnapped and brought here. It was all for this moment. All of this was planned out to lead to this one moment. My god, this is... This is insane! I, I can't believe it, but there's only one possible answer. June is... Zero is... Akane Kurashiki. No! Brains! Ah! She recreated the history of the future that she had a glimpse of nine years ago. She tried to save herself that way nine years ago. No, she's trying to save herself right now. That means that there's only one thing for me to do. Even if this is all some sort of insane plan, I will save her. I will save Akane Kurashiki. I got kapow! Oh my god, this is so good. I love these games. I must save her no matter what. Five minutes? Six minutes. Six minutes. The voice remained blah, the voice reminded me of how much time I had left. Yeah, I know. Just hang on, alright? I promise I'll get you out of there. I'm not gonna let you die. I promise. So don't worry, alright? Just give me a few minutes, okay? Well, I only got six, so how much is a few? My voice shook as I answered. It was hot in the room. It felt like my heart was on fire. Six minutes or not, my heart burned with my feelings for him. Oh, good God. That's bad. I understand that they like know each other in the future and everything, but right now she's like 10. All right, time to go to work, Junpei. Is Snake talking to them about something? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Get out of my way. Hey, what are you- Just trust me, okay? Sorry, Lotus, I didn't mean to snap, but there's a lot at stake here than your pride. I'll apologize later, alright? Now, let's have a look at this thing. We've got numbers all over this grid. I think the panels are out of order. So, I just need to switch these out. Start it. Staring at it isn't going to accomplish anything. I'll just have to try it. Think of what I did all those times before. I'm gonna do this on my own, with my own mind. I'm gonna solve this problem. Okay, so the last puzzle. <laughs> There's hints? Oh. Okay. Right! And that's what I mean. I was like, I understand they know each other later, but in this initial, if you just come into this part of the story, it looks kinda gnarly. Not that much else from Spike Chunsoft should surprise me. Okay, so I just like literally. Oh. Oh. Okay, so that's how you sit. Cool. Or is it? When I press the hint, numbers appeared in the empty spots on the grid. They're all single digits. I get the feeling the numbers change when I switch out the yellow squares. But this square at the bottom. Why does it stay blank when I press hint? I I know the square. I know why. Thank you. Pressing game the numbers disappear. Looks like I can turn them on and off. And then is there something special meaning behind there being two modes? 
I mean, am I trying to... Maybe I need to make all the numbers in the squares the same? I mean, does it just want me to switch out the letter for the number? Like, what was... Shh, where's that paper? Like, what was 5? 10 was A, right? No, what's 5? If 10 was A, what's 5? Hey, kitty! Glad you're back! I mean, that seems almost too simple, though. Nothing to do with A equals 10. Okay. I switch out a yellow square, the number that shows up in the hit changes to. Looks like the numbers are affected by the adjacent squares. Well, I, I could I could assume that much. It's actually It's actually simpler than that. So shot three to five. So you missed that Akane is zero. I didn't. I blew my mind. I was always thinking that she was going to be more like Sayaka and would just kind of die. So keep. the digital root. <sighs> right. Kitty did miss zero. Sad day. I hate that this is so simple because I'm sure it's something I should just be able to figure out. equals 10, B equals 11, C equals 12. You said that didn't matter. Maybe I need to replace the letters with numbers? Told you it mattered. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. How? I know. Lots of really twisted stuff. That's how. is the same, but what number? Switching out. A yellow square affects all hit squares around it, but one square doesn't get a hint number. The ninth spot at the bottom, only this one stays blank. Maybe a fixed number goes inside. So the ninth square has a different rule? think it was Lotus. Uh, Ace is not a good person. I did not like Ace. Ace is not a good person. Okay, yeah. A-S-O-D-R-W-P-S. -S. So... So, 
password? Okay. I was wrong too. <laughs> I thought Ace was zero. Okay, well I get that it spells password. That's that's cool. So I, I know my lovely Santa wasn't zero. <laughs> No, we're actually trying, we're sort of kind of trying to help Santa. Santa did go a little nuts, though. Uh, I mean, if I just switch... Yeah. I'm changing so much, it's just getting messy. Maybe I should reset. When everything is in the original spot, something lines up at the bottom squares. It looks kind of like it should be a word. So is it not? What? Am I supposed to leave the R in the double? This is what the hell? What the hell? Why did you hear groaning? I'm I'm not entirely sure. Pumba's snoring back there. <laughs> My stomach might be growling a little bit. Did I reset it? I hadn't switched that much. So I'm saying, he's all freaking out like I'd switched a bunch of stuff. I didn't even switch a bunch of stuff. Hey, James T! What's going on? What was going on? Trying to like, uh, yeah. I did reset. Yeah. I know. I don't know what you stop every time I hit that. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Yay! Congrats on your good internet. That is uh that is definitely helpful. We've had to update our internet more than once. <laughs> Telling me Akane is zero, but now she died. I'm, I'm not convinced she's dead. We're not done yet. We're not gonna be done until I can figure out what the hell this thing was. I figured out that they all spell password, which I don't necessarily know is helpful. Do I have to find the password? Yeah! Password. <laughs> the word I found to make was password. <laughs> so it's supposed to be on this bottom row right here. And I can make 
pass. I mean, am I supposed to? Oh. Mm. Oh, is it that? Hold on. Really? 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 God, okay. See? Password. Got it! Password is password. I don't want to try. My brain's hurting. Wait, so then what was the... I needed that... Now what do you want? <laughs> password is... Password. No? <laughs> Do you see why I was C that yes? Yes, I would have been pissed. <gasps> oh, that's ter that's awful. Yeah, it, it really is, because once you figure it out, you're just like Right. See what you did there. <laughs> Although, like, was I supposed to it, it moved too quickly. Was I supposed to have some numbers? Like, it might... Did I need the numbers that I just switched the tiles out with? Because that went kind of fast. And I didn't, I didn't get to jot that down. And it's not password. I tried. Password spelled backwards? <laughs> right, D. Uh. Drowsap? <laughs> Apparently not. Is it nine? It's nine. I was I was fucking joking too. That was a total fucking yes, crapshoot. I was joking. And it worked. Okay. It gives you that whole keyboard. The password's nine. Okay. We're just gonna move on. Hey, did you get it? Oh, that was... Yeah. Yes, I did! <laughs> I solved it! I mean, really, you solved it for me, but I copied everything you did! I almost actually did 999 instead, and I actually wouldn't have tried nine, so now the fact I that I even tried it... <laughs> there you go! Then the save the a waiting for? Push it! Okay, I will! I hit the enter key. Emergency shutdown command has been confirmed. Yay! It was a Sudoku on the S on the DS version. I used to really like Sudoku. The original system has been disabled. Yay! We're not going to be Krispies! I mean, go figure that they're gonna make it just like. That's what I love and hate about it is they make it seem like this big elaborate thing, and you're like, I'm smart. I'm gonna figure this out. No, nine. I mean, like everything else. Tears rolled down my face as I cried out to him, but they were very different sort of tears. A wonderful feeling of accomplishment and relief flooded over my body. At the same time, what strength I had left disappeared, and I collapsed to the floor. For a while, I just lay there laughing and crying and enjoying being alive. <laughs> yeah, so she's not dead. Every time I every time I thought about him, I thought my heart would burst. Aww. Whew. I can't quite believe I did that. But I'm so glad. So glad. I, I feel like my heart's on fire. Yeah, did we save us? No, I don't, I don't have time to be thinking about that kind of shit. I need to tell Akane. Akane. Sorry, but things are kind of busy over here. I'm gonna have to hang up now, okay? Can we call it hanging up? Oh, of course, that's fine! Do we hang up with from telepathy? 
I wiped the tears from my eyes and nodded vigorously, even though I knew he couldn't see me. Then I looked over at the corner on the floor, and there were the two bracelets Hongu had left behind. Now. Well, Seven and Lotus don't look particularly happy with me. Not a very nice look to give someone who just saved your lives, guys. Junpei, are you... Okay. Ah, no, I'm talking to myself. Right. Okay. So maybe they have a reason to be pissed off. So what if I haven't pressed the enter key yet? All right. Nothing holding me back now. <laughs> Here it goes. Wait. Incineration will begin in oh God. Seconds. Ah! <coughs> Wait. So if I save her, does everybody else die? It doesn't sound like it's stopping. Oh God. What the shit? Why isn't it stopping? Okay, maybe I didn't hit the key hard enough. Just hit it again, and again, and again. Okay, that's not working either. The alarm's still going off. What the hell is going on? I've got all the right numbers on the boxes. It's perfect. So why the fuck isn't this thing stopping? Incineration will begin in 60 seconds. Oh, God. Wait, of course. That's what the numbers that showed up after the puzzle mean. Oh, yeah, see, I needed those. I told you I wondered. 2 plus 4 plus 5 plus 7 plus 8. Snake, Clover, me, 7, and Lotus. Then, door 9. No, that's it. The number on the door isn't a 9. It's not even a number! It is hidden, but an exit can be found. Seek a way out. Seek a door. Holy shit. Of course. Then we just have to put the right number into the red and... I would go quickly. Run, guys! Get to the door! Run! Quick like a bunny! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, I don't have much time! Man, I sure hope they can just trust me on this one or we are all fucked! Alright, no time to explain, just Quick, go! verify your numbers <laughs> on the red! Verify? Who? What combination? All of us! We all need to verify! What? You really think this is a good time to ask questions? Just do it! Hurry, 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 hurry! Begin in 10 seconds. Jesus! 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, ah! 3, 2. Central gate has been opened. Incineration system has been disabled. Woo! Oh, thank fucking Christ! <laughs> no, no time to be happy, time to go! <laughs> oh, this is great. Come on, guys, move it! Okay, they're all going through. Move it, Junpei! Just in time. The dog fucking hard. What? Oh, I know. And there goes the door. No, don't come down yet! You're not done! We've still gotta find the dead! Woo! We did it! That sounds interesting. Shit. Yeah. Looks like we made it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Phew! Man, that guy sure can't laugh when he wants to. Looks like Clover and Lotus are totally out of energy. Snake is shaking his head warily. I just want to take a nap. Akane! But... Akane! Can you hear me? I want to tell her we made it. I want to tell her how good I feel, but nothing. So... Is it because she's back alive now? No, here's her side. The door opened. Standing in front of it was my brother. Akane! Oi! I cried his name even though my voice was almost gone from screaming and leapt into his arms. Oh, oh yeah, and Santa was June's brother the whole time. And he set up the second nonary games. Akane! To save her. In the past. 
I buried my face in his chest and cried again. I cried and I cried. The steady thump of his heart in my ear made me feel like I was home. It was beat. It was almost like a lullaby. I was wrapped in my arms around him as far as I could go and held him tight as I could. Just to be there felt like a miracle. I hadn't felt the warmth of another human body in what had seemed like an eternity. I just wanted to stay there in his arms forever, but I couldn't. The moment I'd passed through the door, my bracelet had begun the countdown to death. I leapt away from him and looked around. The door had already closed. I spotted the dead only a short distance away. It took me only a moment to go to it and scan all the bracelets. I left the ones Hongo had dropped on the scanner panel. That was it. I took a deep breath and looked around again. The huge detective who we'd call Seven nine years later and Snake, the blind boy, were looking at me. They seemed to have been utterly stunned by my sudden appearance. Their eyes were wide and their mouths hung right, open. Let's get out of here. If we don't book it, we might run into Hongo again. Owie was right. It was time to get moving. The mention of Hongo seemed to jar Seven and Snake out of their surprise and they nodded. We took off running up the spiraling staircase to freedom. Time for more running, but if they can't get us out of here, no wonder we're running so hard. My heart's beating so hard I can barely hear. God, I can't wait to breathe real air again. Huh? Is Seven talking? Hey Junpei, can I ask you something? What's up? That door. The one with the nine on it. Why'd it open? Yeah, all five of us verified our numbers on the red. <laughs> Two plus four plus five plus seven plus eight is twenty-six. That makes our digital root eight. It's a bit broken, yeah. It shouldn't have opened. <laughs> That's not like you, Lotus. I thought you would have figured it out already. I know. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. Huh? Why? Because you were the person who taught me about the idea of bases. Bases? Yeah. What are the two numbers in base two? Huh? Zero and one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're moving. Yeah, we're no, we're fine. That yeah, gravy. Zero to nine, right? And how about base 16? Zero through F. After nine, it starts at A and goes from there. B, C, D, etc. You're right. In other words, A in base 16 is 10 in base 10. B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, and so on. So, what about it? You don't get it? What if we keep going with that pattern? What if you go way past base 16 all the way to base 27? Base 27? Yeah. Well, the numerical digits are the same. So, I guess you'd add alphabetical digits. E is 14, F is 15, G is 16. H yeah. is 17, I is 18, J is 19. K is 20, L is 21, M is 22. N is 23. Oh, we're gonna 20. do the whole alphabet. Alright, y'all, strap in. Yeah, and? What comes after that? Uh, Hmm. Oh. oh, Q. 26. And what does that mean? That wasn't a 9 on the door. It was a Q. It was a, Q. a fucking lowercase Q. It was a fucking lowercase Q. That's pretty much it. Not a 9. <laughs> I guess to put it another way, you could say that it was a 9 in base 10, but a Q in base 27. Time for more running. God, my thighs are killing me. I swear, any moment now I'm gonna tear a muscle. I feel like every single cell of my body is dying for air. You're good, kidding, it's all good. Damn, every breath I take is a chore now. I feel like my lungs are gonna burst. Maybe just a short rest? No, no, I can't stop. Don't have time. Q is nine. Right. Come on, legs. There can't be that many more of these steps left. Let's run! Run like a bullet down a rifled barrel. Like a tornado cutting through a sea of clouds. I feel like we're running along the back of a giant coiled dragon. Finally! <laughs> we're good? Everybody had a moment? Jesus, I can barely breathe. No Junpei, no time for rest. Pull yourself together. Alright, I'm gonna open it. Yeah. Yes, we're finally here! Please do! Sure, you look like a big, heavy door, but you're the only thing standing between me and my freedom. But even more important than that, you're the only thing standing between me and Akane. You're going to open, and you're going to open now. 
Jedi mind powers! I felt a hand on my shoulder. It was Ali's. He gave it a small, reassuring squeeze. I was so happy, I felt like it could melt. My heart was at peace. And not only because my brother and I were back together again. Thanks to the huge detective, all nine of us who had been kidnapped were finally able to escape from the gigantic. On the distant horizon, we could see the faint outline of the ship that sank. It gave us a thunderous roar as it finally slipped beneath the waves. Its last cry echoed out across the sea, and then it was gone. Owie whispered. Yeah. It was over. It was finally over. Or was it? Was it really? No, that was wrong. There wasn't it all. What wasn't it at all? I was sure of it. This wasn't the end. It was only the beginning. This was only a prologue to what would happen in nine years. Dun dun dun! Finally, air. Lodi shouldn't be running with those big boobs of hers. <laughs> we will let her run with her big boobs. And voila! <laughs> Damn, that sun is bright. I can barely see anything. I gotta admit, that doesn't look quite like... No way. You have gotta be shitting what? me. It can't be. This is... What? the building in the Nevada desert. The mock experiment building. Oh my god. This whole time we were in building Q Well, if the ship sank! Sure enough, that's a desert out there with mountains all around it. Hello there, sun. Boy, am I ever glad to see you. I don't think I've ever been so happy to see a sunrise. Huh? Did I just hear something fall? <gasps> what the cr- Oh my god. What the hell? Right, our bracelets. I guess they've never really got a good look at the underside of one of these. Let's see what's inside of you. Just a little electronic chip. Like an ATM card. That's it. There's nothing else. Nothing that even looks like a detonator. There was never a detonator to begin with. Figures. Akane. Guess I must be pretty crazy about the girl if I think I'm hearing her voice in the wind. What? What? No! No! What the hell? Where is she? So is she? Oh! Boycott! Story. There are scenes after credits. I was like, uh. said there are scenes after the credits. no, I know, because that's not right. That was fantastic. No, that was great. Like I can dance now. <laughs> we did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> I mean, it is a trilogy. So, is VLR about the same characters? But, so, I guess she's alive in a sense, but she's alive in the past. Right? Okay. I mean, I don't get me wrong, that's the only part where I'm kind of like, what's going on? You act like I'll tell you, right? <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, sir. Like, well, hey, look, it's Zero, A.K.A. Akane.
But was she actually the person in the gas mask? That's not quite right. So was Santa the guy in the gas mask? Are you okay? Well, they should poop the bomb out now. <laughs> well, there were no bombs. That was part of what screwed up. Oh, look, flashbacks. Flashbacks! Oh, come on. Uh, this is nothing. Really? Yeah. You don't look okay. It was just before the end of elementary school. Jumpy and I were sitting next to each other on a small hill looking down at the town as the sun slowly set. How does it look then? He was half serious and half joking. I thought about it for a minute first. Um, well, let's see. <laughs> it's like you kissed a toad and got warped. Wow. But then you got beat up. kept growing and growing and growing. <laughs> what does that even mean? Junpei grinned. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> see? I told you you're not okay. You're too reckless. She never died. At the moment she got shot, her and her consciousness fall forward as Junpei. All the bad endings just meant that Junpei died, which resulted in her death. <laughs> you can't beat five eighth graders, Jumpy. That's crazy. But thank you, Beast. Yeah, but I couldn't just stand there. I mean, don't you think so? I had to do something. Which is why there was the instance where the, she was a crisp. Look at the Nevada desert go past. For an SUV, this thing has got a pretty smooth ride. Sure was nice of someone to leave it for us outside the building. Keys in the ignition and gas in the tank. Almost like it was a present, you know? Anyway, we jumped in and now here we are, screaming across the desert. Lotus is over there in the passenger seat. Snake and Seven and I are all squeezed into the back seat here. I still can't believe we let her drive. This is so fun! <laughs> this is so awesome! Driving is so great when there's nothing around, and there's no speed limit. That's terrifying. Hey, Clover, watch those bumps, all right? This car jumps even a little, and I think I'm going to get crushed to death. <laughs> hey, shut it. I can't help if I'm big, all right? Suck it up. <clears throat> Why don't you drive, Seven? I'm a cop. I ain't going to break the law. He doesn't have an international license. Yeah, but you could have sat in the passenger seat. Oh, hell no. There's no way I'm giving this seat up. <clears throat> and Clover, there's no <clears throat> way to slow down. The car Santa and June are in should be somewhere down this road ahead of us. Yeah, I saw some fresh tire tracks going out. There's no doubt about it. Then we've got to hurry if we want to catch them, don't we? Sure thing. Oh shit! God damn it, she doesn't have to drive so fast! Man, I didn't even think a car like this could go this fast! For sure throwing up a lot of dust. <laughs> it was a couple hours after we'd run into the junior high students. They'd been hiding in the bushes on the back of one of the hills, dr drenching a kitten in gasoline. Oh my god! The moment we saw what they were doing, Jumpy ran up to them hey, furious. what the hell are you doing? I mean, no crap, they're gonna set a cat on fire! He quickly scooped up the kitten and tossed it to me. I caught it and ran for the police station as fast Help as I could. Me. Officer, please! You have to come with me! The policeman and I headed back to the hill. And we found, all we found was Jumpy sprawled on the ground with a face covered in big, swelling lumps. You couldn't run away after you threw the kitty to me? <laughs> he stuck his tongue out and thought the hole, threw the hole in his mouth where a tooth had yeah, fallen I out. Yeah, I guess I could've. Then why didn't you? I guess I could've. I didn't want to. I wanted to beat him up. Beat him up real good. Because of what they were doing to the kitty. Yeah, that too, but... Yeah! <laughs> they were the ones behind those murders our first semester. Remember? Oh, you mean the bunnies. Yeah, the bunnies. Oh, that's terrible! He pulled some grass from the ground and tossed it into they the wind. They asked what elementary school I was from, so I told them. And then they said they'd do the same thing to you that they did to the rabbits. I couldn't forgive them for that, so I... Oh. Hey, uh, there's still some stuff I don't get. Of course, they probably don't know anything more like than Ace. I do. Well, I guess I should say Guitaro Hongro. Why did he create the Nonary Project? Anybody? Any ideas? Why don't you ask him yourself? Well, yeah, I guess I could. He's still in the trunk, I assume? 
Yeah, he is. Still tied up, I'm assuming, with his mouth taped shut. His eyes just look empty. No emotion. They look like he'd just given up. I wonder if he even cares what happens to hey, him anymore. are you listening to us? Yeah, go ahead and try to pretend you weren't, you old bastard. Let's get that tape off your mouth. Come on, I know you were. Answer me. You could at least look at me when you talk, man. I only wanted to see the faces. Human faces. I thought... I thought if I could gain the ability to access the morphic field set, then perhaps I could see faces. So you were going to murder kids to do it. Peering into people's minds. Exploding kittens the card game. Yes. Processing the expressions of others. That's it? Yes. If you want to put it simply, but if you are looking for a more philosophical answer, I can supply that as well. You see, the human collective consciousness... I think that's enough out of you, pal. Time for the tape to go back on. <laughs> so what's your second question? You said there were some things you didn't get, didn't you? Well, somebody's still Well, busy. my next question doesn't really have anything to do with you two. This is for you, Seven. It's about the whole Alice thing. What's the deal with that? Well, you see, nine years ago, after I escaped from the Gigantic, I kept going after Hongo on my own. I'd catch him and find me slipped up. And during the course of my investigations... Yes, Kitty, they're terrible people! I learned a lot more about the Gigantic. I also found out about Gordain and Alice. You're not really answering my question. Was there actually a girl who wouldn't melt at room temperature? <laughs> Sounds like Hongo has something to say. Alright, fine. I'll let you talk, but you gotta behave. What? <laughs> Alice doesn't exist. Nine years ago, I found Alice's coffin behind the library on the bottom deck. There was nothing in it, but the root of a peculiar plant. My research determined that it was a member of the genus Madrigora, of the family Solanaceae, and was able to what? extract a particular alkaloid from it. I used that extract to create Sopor. Its creation was a tremendous boon to my firm, and we grew rapidly. Shit, this is gonna go on forever. Tape's going back on, Hongo. The rest of my questions can wait a bit. For now, I think I'll just enjoy the ride. Here, uh, this is for you. What's this? This is, uh, for you, doll. Uh, his name is Junpei. Jumpy pulled something out of his pocket and shoved it out in his arm towards me. In his hand was a doll made of yarn small enough to fit Jumpy, in his palm. Are you sure it's, uh, for you, doll? Huh? Uh, yeah, the, the lady at the shop said so, so th that means it's for you, right? I, uh, are you sure it's not a voodoo doll? <laughs> Wait, what? That, that's, oh man, oh man. <laughs> well, it sure looks like a voodoo doll, I mean... You do know what a voodoo doll is used for, right? Yeah, I, I guess calling it Junpei isn't a very good idea then. Why are you giving mm. me this anyway? It just seems really sudden. Uh, well, um, y you know how after June, um, we aren't gonna get to see each other too much? I mean, That's, we're gonna go uh, to different schools, and... Oh, they went to different I'd, schools, um, okay. You know, um... I like you! Okay, well, how about we call it June, then? Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. So, uh, I wanted to give you this. <laughs> you sound like some sort of tribal chief in a bad movie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she just yes, ripped the voodoo doll head off, right? Tribe. <laughs> this doll, traditional charm of tribe. <laughs> so I give this. It me. So we always... <laughs> oh, Jumpy. If something bad, then hold and pray. I go wherever you are. So here, take. I reached my hand out and picked up the doll gently. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jumpy. Before I knew it, I was crying. Tears were streaming down my face and fell into June's tiny yarn Jumpy, body. I'll never forget you. I promise. Jumpy looked straight into my eyes and said just five words. I'll never forget you, either. The sky was a beautiful crimson red as it melted down towards the horizon. The last golden rays of sunlight stretched out across the city and painted themselves across the hill. 
We sat bathed in the warm light of the evening, just the two of us, leaning gently against one another, shoulder to shoulder. The sun set, and we still didn't leave. We watched in silence as the darkness deepened, and one by one, the lights of the town began to flicker on. There's still one thing I don't get. To, to be honest, it's the biggest mystery as far as I'm concerned, and also the only one that's really important. It has to do with June and Connie. Nine years ago, she died in the incinerator on the Gigantic, but she's still alive now as June. But how? Was it because I tapped into the morphic field that it saved her nine years ago? That's, see, that's why where I'm at. Alright, let's say that makes some kind of insane sense. If I did that, then how do I make sense of what Seven remembers? Snake makes sense. He's blind. He couldn't have seen her body anyway. But Seven? He said he was sure he saw it. Does that mean that there's some kind of historical discrepancy? Or, wait, maybe that's not it at all. There is one other logical explanation. Was what you told me the truth, Seven? You look satisfied. No, no way. He couldn't. Hey, look, over there. There's somebody next to the road. Huh? What? Hmm? Don't kill my family, kittens have to live. Oh my god! What? The burning gaze of the Nevada sun poured down on her head. The desert around her rippled with heat. Standing there on that shivering plain was a woman, her arm out and her thumb up. It would not be long before Jubei realized who she was, and very scantily clad. End. End. That was it. And yes, that was some dead mummy butts for you at the very end. <laughs> Finn, finito, goose egg, noodle, no more, zero. We did it. <laughs> wow! Look, achievement. Don't forget to take a towel. <laughs> Would you like to save your info you obtained during this playthrough? Yes. That's right. the chocobo of her view. Sniff the chocobo. Like, what the? Play my goddamn glasses, dude. <laughs> Fucking gay ass shit. Quests are stupid. So that was fantastic. I fucking hate Square Enix, dude. As soon as they began Square Enix, I became fucking stupid. That's when all the shit Final Fantasy games started coming out and everything else. Rants with Raisin. I was there one more. That was the last one. I'm not really sure why those are blank, but that was the last one. It was the true ending, and now it- Run over here and talk to this guy. Yeah. Now run back and talk to the coachman again. What the fuck? Dude? Like, just run around- That was the grand finale. Waste your time. Like, I'm gonna waste my time killing shit anyway, just let me go do it. Yep, save complete access to the flowchart to return. Okay, cool. Prepare Yay! The road. Yeah, it'll send us back to the flow chart here. So this is all, yeah, these are all the ways we could get to the different endings. Which is why this game actually takes a second, and why people were surprised I was doing four to six hour streams. <laughs> this is why. So, that being said, that will officially conclude 999. And this coming Friday, when I'm finally done with classes... We're going to start VLR. We get it! <laughs> then we'll see where we go from there, depending on how long VLR takes. We'll either do Zero Time Dilemma, or we're going to start Ultra Despair Girls from Danganronpa. Now VLR is going to fuck you immensely. Yay! Yeah, now I have been hearing that VLR is a little, bit, is a little more complicated. 
Which makes my brain hurt already. <laughs> Virtue's Last Reward. Yes, that is the next game in the series that we are going to start. So, really quick though, is this... I go totally blind, okay? So when I ask these questions, it's because when I play these games, I don't look up anything because you're always at risk for spoilers. I don't even look up the story. So, is this... Is VLR actually, like, continuing on the story? Or is it a different set of characters? Kind of like Ming and Rampa 2, where the story kind of tied together, but it's different characters. Wibbly wobbly timey wimey things. A little more complicated. It's a trilogy. Oh, sequel. Gold deal. All right, well, that's where we'll pick up then. That'll be about perfect. Well, yeah, I did... So, um, if you never get the true ending and you start the next game, you'll have no fucking idea what's going on. Right! But we did it. So, we're good. And now for nachos. Yes, please. I'm gonna go make nachos. The story will connect at points. That's See, I love that. That's awesome. Well, thank you, guys. I knew today was going to be a slightly shorter stream, but it's cool. I only got three days of classes left, and I'm going to have quite a bit more time. Um, and I've got quite a bit lined up so far. So I appreciate it very much. Thank you for wrapping up this game with me. I will see you guys all on Friday to start Virtue's Last Reward. Uh, if I hear anything else more exciting, I will let you know. Until then, bye!